Hi there, this is Coach Moon. I am your son or daughter's Texas history teacher this year. I'm um, really excited to have your kids in my class. Uh, just a little bit about me. Whoops, let's go back up. I um, was born and raised here in Arlington, Texas. Uh, family has a long history in Texas, so it's, it's a subject that I absolutely love and I'm very passionate about. I love all history in general. Um, I like sharing that with students, and I love seeing them, all the students who say, like, oh, I've never liked history. And then once they get into it and they start to realize that there's a little bit more to it than just memorizing dates and vocabulary words, that they love it. Um, like I said, I was born and raised here in Texas, but I, I was in the military for a while. Uh, a lot of kids like to ask questions about that. They're curious about it, and um, I'm more than happy to share uh, that experience. If they're interested in a military career, they can always ask me that. I was stationed in Alaska. Um, which I absolutely love. My wife is from there. I get to go up there at least two times a year um, if everything works out, obviously, but uh, it's a great place. Um, so just a little bit about my class rules. Pretty stand for, standard for, for most um, classrooms. You know, I, I'm really big on respect. I want students to, you know, we have a lot of class discussions in my class, and I want students to know when it's okay to talk, know when it's it's time to listen, and also not just listening just to wait for your turn to speak, but truly listening and understand what other people are, are trying to tell you. Um, the, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. You know, be respectful to the school equipment. Don't don't damage my my stuff. If you're borrowing a computer that you got to understand, that's not yours. And that's those are my big, big things. And just general human respect and dignity, being kind and listening. Uh, being responsible, be on time. That's there's no reason not to be, unless there is some ex, uh, explanation or excuse that has been forwarded to me. I can't I can't come up with any good reasons to not be on time. Um, completing assignments and turning work in on time. It's it sounds so simple, but that's a that's a tough one. Okay, we have um, we have our journals this year, and so so far uh, students have been doing a really really good job of keeping track with that. But throughout the year, it may get a little bit tricky. So it's important that they're that they know what's going on. And I will always send out reminders, and I will always tell them. But it's a two way street. Um, and be ready. Uh, be ready to learn. When you're in class, you're you're prepared. You've got all the uh, instructions. And if I give directions, please follow them on the first time. Cell phones, I, I don't allow cell phones out in my class unless it's a uh, special time. Put it away. If I see it, I'm going to warn you. If I see it again, I'm going to take it up. And if it becomes an issue, then it'll go down to the hospital for, uh, for the most part. Uh, after one warning, they're pretty good about putting them away. Um, Really, really, I, I I want everybody to ask questions. I want everybody to feel like they can come to me if they're struggling in my class, if they're concerned about their grade, um, parents and students alike. I'm I, that's what I'm here for. So the best way to reach me, which unfortunately I didn't put it on here, is my email, um, which is jmoon at aisd.net. That will be the best way to reach out to me. I'm I'm pretty responsive with emails, and uh, I will do my utmost to get back with you to get back to you within it. So just to give you kind of a, an update on where we're at, we are finishing our Texas Regions unit right now and then we're going to move into Native Americans. We're going to spend about two weeks uh, on Native Americans and then after that we get into uh, the Spanish colonial, Spanish exploration time period. Uh, then we get into Mexican independence and the Mexican uh, national era, which involves, you know, the first American settlers coming into Texas, being invited in. Uh, Stephen F. Austin's father, Moses Austin, and the, the old 300, as we call them. And then we get into the really fun stuff, the revolution and everything that came after that. Uh, that should, we should round out this semester in, in December uh, around what we call the